Hello, welcome everybody uh, to this webinar. Uh, thank you for being uh, with us. Uh, today's topic, uh, we are going to introduce uh, the newest uh, syllabus in the ISTQB family of, uh, of certification, the ISTQB testing with generative AI, or the version 1.0, and uh, the first one. And <clears throat> We have uh, we have uh, worked uh, uh, in less than a year to to produce uh, this uh, this new syllabus, and I wanted uh, as a starting point to introduce why uh, this syllabus came to life. Why did we develop it? Uh, and so we are going to introduce the the context. We are going also to see how it links to the ISTQB ecosystem how it links to other syllabi in, in the uh, ISTQB certification uh, schemes. And then we are going to speak a little bit of the new ways of learning with ISTQB that we introduced in this syllabus. Uh, it's not really totally new, but we are going to see how the practical way of learning is pushed in this syllabus. So let's start with why testing with generative AI? Why did we want to push this new new syllabus in uh, ISTQB family? Over the last years, of course, this is not something new to everybody. We have seen a lot of investment in artificial intelligence and in generative AI particularly, but we see that the amount of investment globally is is uh, is massive actually it's a really huge uh, investment that are being made and those investments are not for a particular field in uh, and we can see that the number of patents related for example in this picture related to artificial intelligence spans across all the different industries where it be security uh, finance energy uh, transportation, telecommunication, really all of the industrial sectors are uh, part of this huge push towards artificial intelligence. And the, also the, uh, the private investment, so we have more and more uh, companies investing in artificial intelligence. And this investment reflects on the uh, positions, the jobs that are in the market today uh, offered for artificial intelligence. We have a surge in, in artificial intelligence jobs in the current market today. Of course, uh, this, uh, this, um, this surge or this demand for artificial intelligence uh, is, uh, is changing the perception that we have. For example, if we look on a mean scale, uh, on the mean scale, on the AI impacts on society, we see that from 2019, for example, to 2021, uh, we have a positive trend. So some countries, of course, uh, uh, see that the AI will mostly harm, but not all of them. So those are the exceptions to, to the rule. But globally, we see uh, people seeing the advantages that AI will help, and this is non-different in the jobs of uh, software testing jobs. Uh, artificial intelligence, and more particularly generative artificial intelligence, is uh, seen as a big advantage and will mostly help in our day-to-day -day, uh, life. So that's why we we introduced this uh, <laughs> this um, new syllabus. It's composed of five chapters. Uh, we wanted to give a foundation level type of syllabus so it's accessible to anyone without prior knowledge. Of course, uh, we will speak about the requirements a, a little bit further on, but uh, I can give you a small spoiler uh, alert that we require the foundation level, the certified tester foundation level. Uh, the latest one, version 4.0 for uh, the ISTQB in order to pass the certification exam. 
but the idea behind the syllabus is we wanted to give really a foundation level to generative AI. Uh, we start with an introduction, generally, just to explain what is generative AI, what's the background behind the generative AI, the key concepts, basically. And then we delve into uh, how do we use it? Not particularly in one field, so we are not really focusing on one specialized tester. So we're not focused on uh, automation tester or test analysis. We speak generally, globally, how can any tester use generative AI to the task that he that is uh, conducting? Uh, also, maybe uh, I hope it's not a surprise uh, that uh, there are risks involved in using generative AI. And uh, in this syllabus, we really focus on, first of all, identifying those risks. What are the risks that you can find while using generative AI and how do I take care of them? Basically, that's uh, the third chapter um, uh, of the, the syllabus. Then once you know what is generative, generative AI in general, uh, how to use it, basically, we are going to speak about prompt engineering. And then you have learned what are the risks. So identifying the risk, managing them. We want also to have, we have the last two chapters, which are here to give you an idea on how you can use that in uh, your testing workflow, whether it be um, uh, the, uh, the normal usage, usage without without integrating it in a continuous integration, continuous deployment um, build or uh, with the continuous integration and development workflow. And uh, yes, of course, so the, the, the last chapter is to give a, a little bit of a roadmap of how you can do all those things uh, together. So I will not spoil any more uh, the uh, the syllabus. I really encourage you to uh, go to the ISTQB website, download it, and uh, read the, the read the, the syllabus to to learn more and and uh, see uh, more details about it. Now I want to speak a little bit on uh, how it links with other syllabi in the ISTQB ecosystem. We have in the ISTQB a syllabus about uh, certified Tester Artificial Intelligence, so CTAI, which is the syllabus uh, speaking about how do I test an, an AI uh, model, how to test the AI. But in this syllabus, you have one part which speaks, so the last chapter, it's, it's a really big uh, syllabus with 11 chapters, but the last chapter speaks about using AI for testing. And Based on that, we have links between this syllabus and our syllabus because we are really focused on using AI for testing, testing with generative AI, and we have a tight link with this last chapter of CTI. Uh, and other, uh, other links, we could take the example of the latest uh, test automation engineer syllabus, the version 2.0 you have inside this new version of the syllabus, we have references of using artificial intelligence, for example, for test automation. How do we, for example, uh, automate the analysis of logs? And this, uh, this link, for example, in section uh, 6.1.3 of the latest uh, test automation engineer um, syllabus, makes a link to chapter 11 actually of uh, of the CTAI in using AI for, for testing, that's the link. And we want to expand on that. You have other uh, uh, other parts, other links in section eight, for example, on how to improve uh, the uh, test automation project, section 8.1.1 of the test automation engineer where it makes a link on how do we use artificial intelligence to support testing and test automation in particular. And we have also expanded on that topic 
in our new syllabus on how you can use that for test automation. And we also have parts about agentic AI where you have uh, um, AI basically executing and reporting uh, the tests for you. So, um, if you want to know more um, about the syllabus, the idea, so as explained, we are not testing a model. We are explaining how to use models, not one in particular, but we are explaining how to use generative AI for testing. So the application of generative AI is the main focus here. Um, we of course have a little bit of explanation on how it works in in the uh, in the back end but we don't go deeper than foundation level just to understand on a basic level and our idea was also not to not to have uh, deep understanding on how the ai but deep understanding on how to use it and if we want to learn how to use it that's why we introduced in the syllabus, a big focus on hands-on learning. We include 24 practical exercises in uh, the syllabus in order to really learn by applying. That's the uh, main idea uh, of the, the syllabus. Uh, um, <clears throat> in uh, the idea of changing the way we learn uh, new technologies, especially with generative AI, uh, it's, uh, the best way to learn it is really to to, to get into it and uh, do manual uh, manual exercises. Though the uh, the Gen AI, so CT Gen AI, certified test of generative AI, we introduce more than 50% of the content of the time uh, being hands-on. So we are really focusing on practicing more than theoretical uh, knowledge. Uh, it's uh, just two days of training. It's really not that long. So it's not a marathon. It's really a sprint. Uh, it's a lot of hands-on. Uh, it's high energy, high impact. Uh, time passes really quick. Um, but the, the, the idea is really to, to deliver the knowledge by applying more than just uh, reading. That's why we can confidently say that we can deliver the knowledge in a such a short of, of time because you are applying the knowledge directly in order to, to learn it. For who this uh, uh, syllabus is, uh, basically, we are not targeting any specific uh, persona. We're targeting really everyone, anyone who needs to get, uh, in quotes, so anyone who needs to understand, uh, anyone who needs to uh, apply, anyone who needs to, to speak about the generative AI, use it, understand it, or maybe have a little bit more knowledge on how he can, um, how he can increase the efficiency and efficacy of his uh, testing process. This is the uh, the syllabus uh, to, to go for. We are not really specifically targeting any persona in particular. It is accessible to anyone. Uh, there is no real knowledge that we are requiring before, like just the uh, of course the foundation level, um, because you need to understand a little bit of the test. What is a test? How do you test the, the test activities? That's basically the, the basic knowledge that uh, we are requesting. So, uh, speaking about that, so, uh, for the certification exam that uh, we are uh, proposing uh, as a two day uh, as a two day training, so a syllabus which requires a training for two days minimum, uh, we we went with the uh, classical uh, exam structure of 40 questions for the ISTQB, it's multiple choice questions. We require 65% score in order to, to pass the exam. So total points of the exam is uh, 46. Uh, you have questions uh, for two points, which are the higher level questions, and then the rest of the questions are one point. The exam uh, length is 60 minutes with 
the typical ISTQB uh, time format where we give 25% uh, more time for people uh, which are not native to the language of the exam they are uh, passing. But the only requirement to pass the certification exam is uh, having um, obtained the certification for certified test of foundation level. Um, as you all know, I, uh, general TVI and artificial intelligence is moving quite quickly. And uh, we have, so general TVI moves really fast and uh, we want to assure you that we are moving fast along with it. <laughs> Um, we will be releasing an, a yearly update of uh, this syllabus, so minor updates every year in order to catch up and not stay behind on this uh, technology moving uh, that fast. We always have new technologies, new ways of doing. It's uh, really still uh, a technology which is, in, which is really early if you see that it's like for the three, four past years, uh, which uh, it's beginning to be uh, widely adopted. And uh, we understand that uh, that uh, syllabus, which is not updated and uh, will be quite quickly uh, out of date. So that's why we are engaged in providing an update yearly to, to the syllabus to keep you up to date with the latest uh, with the latest uh, advancements. And um, basically, uh, that's it. So uh, for this uh, quite quick introduction about uh, the uh, ISTQB, and if you have any questions, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them.